so you've kind of touched on it a little bit, but just to clarify, what are the absolute no-nos when breaking up with someone or being broken up with? Well, first no-no is do not blame, do not attack. Mm -hmm. Do not blame, do not attack. Yeah? For this, you need to have uh, a level of awareness that allows you to be in your awareness bigger than the impulse to hurt the other. See, for us human beings, when we experience pain and we project the cause of the pain to what the other says or what the other does, then we feel justified in getting even by causing the other pain. And that is then the recipe for those very, very um, dramatic um, things that happen in a relationship where one hurts the other more and more and more and it's just getting... Yeah, very, very uh, horrific. So not attack. If you, if you want to share how you feel, you can do it as we teach. You put your energy sideways. That means you're not saying, because you did and you do. No, you say, when you are accusing me of, it makes me feel that I'm inferior. It makes me feel that I'm not good enough. And that reminds me in my childhood of something there with my dad, with my mother. You know, that's constructive, but it needs time to learn also that. And when we are blaming, we are always <clears throat> delegating our responsibility, what we have in the dynamics of an interaction to the other. So we are taking our own power away by blaming the other. And so these are the first things, the first no-nos, not to blame and not to attack. And the second one is certainly not to go into a victim act. You know, a victim act is always having a secret agenda to make the other one feeling guilty. You know? So they should feel guilty for what they have done to me. So I go into a victim act, and we are very smart in doing that. And the other one is feeling guilty for that. You know, ultimately, even and I know examples where partners threaten, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, that's the ultimate victim act to make the other one guilty for um, whatever they have done or what, ha what they have said. No, no, number three is to not create a lobby in order for you being right. So that means... You know, you, you go to your friends and you tell them how bad your partner is and what they have done. And you make your friends, you tell your story in such a way that you are the one who is right. And because they are your friends, and they make you right. And so you're creating a circle that justifies your position. So if you do that, then you're creating more and more and more ugly separation. And um, the last one is don't punish your partner. Yeah, it's a no-no. There's no room for justification of punishment because punishment is a violent, it's a hostile act and it always will return to you. If your partner is weak and they let themselves be punished by you, then someone stronger will show up in your life and they will punish you. So it's tit for tat. You always get what you give. Um, in India, they call it karma. In all religions, it is, it is displayed as something that we cannot escape from. If you are giving violence, you get violence. And if you are giving um, humiliation, you get humiliation. So spare yourself the pain that it's going to be done to you what you feel you have the right to do to the other. Okay. That's great advice.